They say the plans work to a T and they stress no matter how hard you try, there's no guarantees to prevent guns from getting into schools. But yet there are steel companies right here in Olathe dedicated, doing their best to try and prevent it. It was a textbook response with the absolute maximum desired result short of the fact that three people were shot. 72 hours later and the questions have begun. If you have an active shooter, uh, multiple jurisdictions often respond and that gives a substantial immediate uh, impact and enough people to, to do the job. The suspected shooter detained, the threat neutralized. The district's multifaceted plan did what it was supposed to do, according to John Douglas, former security director for the Shawnee Mission School District. We have massive responses and going straight to the uh, source and no, no fooling around. Whoever gets there first goes right to find them because an active shooter in a school is a killing machine. But experts say there is some cause for concern. When the student videotaped the officer responding, that meant that that student was not um, protecting themselves. The director of Safe Defend, who has their systems in more than two metro school districts, says communication has to be the top priority. We have boxes that would be um, installed in the schools. A teacher would just simply put their finger down on the box. After it reads it, it's going to set off sirens and strobes. It's going to send text and email alerts to dispatch. Both say the response was grade A, and in every situation, hindsight is 2020. But for now, appreciation for those who stepped up to save lives. The public needs to stop and take pause for a minute and recognize the heroism of the administ school administrators and teachers and the police officers who respond to these things. Now, of course, the Olathe School District is still reviewing and investigating to see if anything could have been done differently. Now, all five high schools here in Olathe have one SRO and one security guard dedicated to their schools. The district does tell Fox 4 that today, the Olathe East High School campus had an extra security on campus. Christelle.